the book we are going to talk about today is XML RPC WordPress Vulnerability, which is also given the CVE 2020-8036. So this one is actually a pretty old one, but still very worth looking for. So xmlrpc.php is a core file in WordPress that acts as an API endpoint, so it enables remote communication with the WordPress site using the xmlrpc protocol. So it was developed as a feature so it can be used for remote interaction, but it is more of a problem now. So when you are testing an application and you find out that it is hosted on WordPress, you can try a path by adding slash xmlrpc.php at the end of the URL and see if the response says xmlrpc server accepts post request only. If you're seeing this, then you might find some vulnerabilities in it. And we are going to have a um, real practical view in it, not in a lab, but in a real application. Before jumping into that, let's first understand some of the methods that could cause this vulnerability and how severe it could get. Once you send a post request to xmlrpc.php file, you'll get the multiple methods. And these methods are normal methods that, uh, that you can use to interact with the WordPress site, like uh, editing a post, adding a post or something like that. But there are some methods which could lead to vulnerability, like SSRF, DOS, or you can try brute force login. So we're going to look at that because there are some specific methods that could allow you to test for these vulnerabilities. One of the method is pingback.ping. So this is meant to notify other blogs that you have clicked to them, a part of old school blog feature called pingbacks. But it can be abused by attackers if they send requests to pingback.ping method with spoof target URLs. For example, you can add your own URL like from Interact SSH or Burp Collaborator URL and see if you are getting any pingbacks in it. So this will make the WordPress send a GET request to other systems. And this can also be used to probe internal IPs and ports leading to SSRF. And the second method is system.multicall. So this one is literally brute force on steroids. This allows a client to send multiple method calls in a single request. So hackers can use this to brute force login credentials. So instead of sending one login attempt per request, which might get rate limited, they can send hundreds of login attempts in a single request. For example, how you do in a GraphQL, right? You're sending a single GraphQL request, but you can just use different aliases to perform the same thing. If some of you guys have watched my graphical videos in which I explained how this happens, then you must be understanding what I'm talking about. Otherwise, you can watch those videos, just click on the i button. Let's move to the practical part so you can actually understand what's going on. So here we are. Actually, I was looking for some random sites that have XML RPC enabled and I came across this one. So before we move further with the video, I want to say this video is only for educational purpose and I'm not supporting any kind of illegal activities. Also, I'm not actually going to exploit anything. I'm just going to demonstrate this as an example. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so I have my burp suite running over here. So I'm going to turn on intercept, reload the page. Actually, before doing that, I want to directly show you how it looks like when you try to access the XML RPC file. XMLRPC.php I don't know why it's taking so much time to load. Okay, so this is what you will see in the response that the server accepts post request only. That's why you have to get it in bub. Capture the request and send it to repeater. And in the repeater, I'm going to change the get to post and send the request again. Again, you will get an error fault code because you're not providing any post body. So now we are going to provide a body here. As I mentioned, there are a lot of methods in the WordPress. So we have to provide this particular 
XML request with the method name system dot list methods, which will list all the methods present. And here we got the response with multiple methods. So we can also see the system dot multi call, which we talked about earlier. And we also have ping back dot ping, which is of our interest. And there are some other methods that you can see here, like get post categories, uh, get list, uh, get user blogs, delete posts. So this is, as you can see, basically used for interacting with the WordPress. But now let's move on and try to access or test this ping back dot ping. Okay, so I'm just going to paste another request here and this looks something like this so over here you have to provide your url where you want to get the ping back for example your burp collaborator or you can use the interact as such or any other if you have over here you have to provide some other value like a url from the site itself so let's go back to the site and from here you have to choose some kind of uh, blogs articles This sure is taking time. Okay, and here we can see some articles. Let's click on this one. And here we can see the URL. So just have to copy this URL and go to repeater and just paste your value over here. Okay, to get the ping back for that, I'm using webhook. You can go to webhook and copy your unique URL and paste it in the request body here. Then send the request. Number like 18 or 20 or something like that, then it would be vulnerable and you would get a ping back in the response over here. But we're not getting anything here, means it's not. Now, another method that is worth looking for is, let me and we have this user methods so we are actually interested in this one wp.getUsersBlock so we are going to use this method to see if we can brute force or not and we'll get some response so let me paste the request body here and as you can see, the method name is get users blog. And over here, the value of the username is admin and the value of the password is PASS simple. So let's send this request. And in the response, we are getting 403 means the incorrect username or password. But you can send this to intruder and you can just uh, pass this value in the intruder with a huge word list of passwords so you can try this out most likely there will be no rate limit here in this uh, xml rpc file so you might get a response here's an example of what kind of response you're expecting if the password and the username is correct okay so these are the few things you can try you can also try wp.getusers method and see if you get some kind of response in this case even though this feature is enabled but is not actually vulnerable that's why it is uh, worth to first explore by sending multiple requests and see what kind of response you are getting now the severity of this vulnerability bit depends most of the time it would be information disclosure but if you're getting a ping back and if you can perform some kind of internal scanning like port scanning then the severity could be high but it is worth looking for and it is pretty easy to test this out especially for beginner bug hunters okay guys so a small bug i wanted to point out in my this video if you have any ideas for my next video or if any particular vulnerability that you want me to talk about then you can write your views in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one